What's up, YouTube world? Let me lay a scenario out for you. You're kayak fishing. You get out to the water early in the morning. Sun isn't even up yet. You get your whole kayak set up. You get your GoPros where you want it. You get that awesome over-the-shoulder shot that you love so much. Then you get out on the water. A couple hours later, you got to change batteries. You throw your new batteries in, climb all over your kayak, get everything set up again, start fishing. Now the sun's in the sky. Now you're overheating your GoPros. It's a problem, you'll fight it all day long. So I did a little research into this and looked around at the professional YouTubers that are doing this on a daily basis, seen what they had. They had custom Dakota Lithium uh, power boxes or whatever you, they would normally use. Well, I don't wanna spend $200 on a battery box that doesn't even come with a battery. So what I did was, is custom built a battery box out of stuff you could buy right at Walmart Amazon, whatever you want to do. Essentially a dry box that goes in your kayak that you connect to your USB charger, your USB-C port, and you can run your GoPros with no batteries in it at all, all day long, zero overheating issues. And I'll give you a run through of how I built that and then how it sits on my kayak itself. We'll go to the rear camera. I normally run two. We'll have the rear camera set up just so I don't have to dig around in a hatch and it'll look better for you and be easier to understand and it'll be easier for me. So let's get started on how I have this battery box set up. First things first, you're going to need a dry box. I think I got this one at Walmart years ago. It's just a large dry box. Open it up here. You'll see I have the USB drive in there with my positive and negative cables with just a three amp inline fuse. To hold the battery and everything steady inside there, there's a Velcro piece right there. There's a Velcro piece stuck right to the back of the battery. What you'll do is, is you'll take your negative positive cable Stick it right there, and then your battery will just Velcro right into the box. I have a Cabela's 9 amp hour battery that runs the GoPro for two days. No problems whatsoever. You will need to drill an inch and a quarter hole right there to fit your USB. I got one with a volt display and an on off switch so I can shut it off, turn it on, shut it off, whoa, 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 turn it on, just like that. Then it'll screw in from the backside with a little collar and you can tighten it up in there and you're still fairly waterproof. The rest of your cables just fit right down in there. and then you can clamp it shut and you will have all day power. I'll leave a parts list in the description down below with links of where you can purchase all this. And then let's get to the other part. You will need to get a new GoPro battery door. One with a through hole in it like that so you can continuously charge it with the door shut. You don't, I guess you don't have to have a door on it I leave a door on it just so I don't get debris or anything else in there. If I drop it or whatever happens, it's covered. It's nothing's going to happen to it. If you run a 256 gigabyte micro SD card that should last you about 10 hours of fishing. So by the time you get everything put together, there should be no battery inside there. Clip the door on. Should just clip on somewhat easy. Just like that. And then you should have a through right to your charger. So we're gonna run this no battery whatsoever. All right, let's get out to the kayak, see how it sets up and you can understand it. I'll do it on the back camera. I run two, like I said, 
I don't want to be digging around in the hatch, so we'll do it on the rear camera for that awesome over-the-shoulder shot. So that'll give you all day continuous power to your GoPros, no over overheating issues, none of that, with a total cost of $67.43, including the purchase of the battery and the GoPro door covers. All that included is $67.43, and you'll never have to touch them again. Just set them up, forget them. You can always use it for camping. You can always use it for camping too. So if you need to charge your cell phone. Um, lighting, anything else, everything runs off of USB nowadays. So just a portable power source that you can use for everything, but that's mainly what I use it for is to keep my GoPros running all day, just about every day, and not have to mess with them. There is nothing worse than trying to fish and video and vlog and you're fighting GoPros the entire time. So you not want to do it, not get into it at all, and you'll have a much better time out on the water. If you have any comments, concerns, leave them down below. I'm open to anything, and thank you for watching.